Hello everyone. This is Geeta from the Momentum Lab channel and welcome to this week's video. As you can see that this week we will be discussing the top 5 factor based small cases. If you were an existing subscriber, you'd know that we have been presenting a top 5 momentum based small cases list for quite a few months now. For this time, what we are planning to do is we're planning to expand from the existing momentum based small cases to include all of the factors such as alpha, low volatility, momentum, quality and multi factor strategies small cases as well. Now to get into the structure of this video what we will be discussing is that first let's try and understand why at all do we need to do this analysis of small cases and their performance and which are the top performing small cases followed by that i will take you through the detailed methodology of what we have followed to arrive at the top performing small cases and finally i will present a list of the top 5 factor based small cases based on a couple of indicators such as cagr and also sharpe ratios without further ado let's get into this video as most of you know that we don't have a readily available tool for comparing small cases that is comparing one small case to the other and its performance like that like we have for mutual funds or etfs so that particular gap is one reason why we have brought this analysis and we have been doing this series secondly it is very interesting for us to understand how you know the small case returns are calculated and what are the exact actual returns most of the times the listed uh, cagr that is there for a particular small case is not exactly the same as the actual return let me first show you how these are different and then i will take you through uh, the reasons of why they are different now let's just randomly go to the list of all small cases i'm just selecting the first small case that exists over here this is because there is no bias specially i'm not selecting any one small case and i'm not biased towards it it's just that we are looking at a very random selection now for this particular small case we have a 3 year cagr at 12.27% right so if another small case is there and its performance is 13.27 for a 3 as a 3 year cagr then automatically that means that that is better and that we can prefer it but all i want to uh, mention over here is it's not so straightforward when we try to understand the returns of small cases so if you scroll down a little bit into the page what you will understand is that there is something called as costs and returns that are associated now there are cost adjusted returns that are available for all of the small cases and this is how you find out what it is now let's just take the same 3 year period because we have to compare it with the listed 3 year cagr now when i take for a 3 year cost adjusted return what i find is that my returns have now reduced to 11.92% but the listed 3 year cagr is 12.27 there is almost a, a half to 1% difference and this can be uh, different for different sort of small cases so why is this difference occurring and uh, what should we sort of look for if we are trying to look at the exact exact cost adjusted returns so this difference is occurring simply because of all of the costs and charges that are associated with buying and transacting in a particular small case so uh, if i were to give an equivalent it will be equal to the expense ratio for a mutual fund right so when we buy a mutual fund we have expense ratios the expense ratios are higher for active funds because there is more research involved there are more costs involved and lower for passive funds where you know it's just index mimicking so similarly even for small cases there are some costs associated some are fixed costs fixed costs and some are variable costs so one such cost is a subscription fee so everybody Uh, every manager who manages a particular small case charges a nominal fee or sometimes none so in this case there is no fees uh, that is being charged but in general cases uh, there is a small subscription fee that is charged to manage your small case the other thing is that there is also a transaction a uh, cost that is associated with uh, investing in a small case which means that when we rebalance the small case or when we are making purchases of stocks and selling stocks as part of the small case we transact on a particular platform so for each of these transactions there are costs associated with it that we pay to a platform so those uh, charges are listed under transaction charges now since there is no subscription fee for this small case let me try to locate one small case which has a subscription fee now let me try again and go to all of the small cases list let us look at a small case that does not have this free access because free access means that there is no subscription charge associated with it and i'm going to select one a small case which is at least been there for 3 years and also has a subscription fee that is because 
if we have at least a three year cagr period available then we will be having returns listed for the same three year period so we will have one subscription cost fee included then we'll also have the same time period which are comparable so for any fund that is uh, less than three years let me show you what happens this is the first of the small case which has a two year cagr and also has a subscription fee but if i want a cost adjusted returns for two years i don't have that option so just to keep the units comparable i am trying to uh, look at a a uh, small case that has been there at least for 3 years and has a subscription fee now in that scenario what we have is the uh, is this particular small case where the 3 year cagr is 22.98% now i'm going to look at the cost adjusted return for a 3 year period and see that the returns fall down to 13.18% again over here i can show you that the subscription fees which is Uh, adding up significantly to uh, the cost and also transaction fees that we're paying paying to the platforms. Now that is one reason why we just cannot take plainly take the number that is listed over here and compare it with other numbers of different small cases and take a call. Now the second thing that affects the returns of small cases are uh, the time period and also the amount of money that we have to invest. Let's look at it a little bit in detail. Now if I per se let's say if I invested in this particular small case for one year then my cagr for that one year is 35.36 which is tremendously high right but if i take it for the maximum amount of period uh, which i should check how many years is it it is for this particular small case but what we what we essentially need to understand over here is that for a maximum period of this particular small case the cagr is at 20% so this essentially means that the time that we spend in the market also uh for a particular small case affects the kind of returns it it sees so let us now understand how the amount that is available to invest affects the returns as well so let's just say over here there is a 1 lakh amount that is listed for the sake and i am going to change it into 10 lakhs when i change this amount that i am going to invest for my investable corpus to 10 lakhs the cagr comes up to 29.65% let me again look look at that for a uh, three year period so that i can compare it with three year uh, cagr for that so it is 22.98 that is listed over here and for a three year if i put 10 lakhs then my cagr is very very close to what has been listed over here so essentially what i'm trying to say is that there are many factors that affect the returns of a small case and simply by looking at a value listed we won't be able to take a judgment or take a call about which small case to be invested in now i would like to address another question or another concern that may raise over here is that which is why are the returns so different when we change the amount of investable corpus it is simply because there are some fixed costs like i mentioned before like the subscription fee so even if i invest 10 lakhs my subscription fee is just going to be remaining around 30000 and even if i were to invest 1 lakh that particular subscription fee is going to remain at 30000 so the amount available to invest after removing the subscription fee etc with higher amount of corpuses is higher than when it is for lower amounts so in 1 lakh if i'm if 30000 is already gone for uh, you know subscription costs and 6000 is gone for other kind of fees you will you will probably have just around 60000 to invest but if you have a 10 lakh corpus that you're investing or a 2 lakh corpus investing that amount changes and it becomes higher than what it was for a lower amount now having established why an in depth uh, analysis is required for identifying which small case fits your bill perfectly let us now go and understand go into details and understand the kind of methodology we have used to put together this analysis so first we have selected a list of all of the strategies small case strategies which are based on all of the factors the factors being momentum alpha low volatility value quality and also if any small cases are based on multi factor strategies and the second factor is that we selected small cases which have been running at least for the last 3 year period so let me explain why we have taken a 3 years since inception category and uh, we have been discussing this and iterating it time and again in all of our videos and i will just uh, briefly tell you why we are doing this any returns that we see in one year periods are usually based on luck so the ranges are really high so if a market condition is good you probably will get very high returns in the positive side and if the market conditions are bad or correcting you will get very low returns on the negative side so if like you see this chart 
of course it it, it talks for momentum and a nifty 50 index in general but this holds uh, true for all of the indices and the market in general that the more time you spend the range in which you see returns becomes narrower which means you have more predictable sort of returns so considering this we have taken 3 years as a good in between period because most of the small cases do not have have not been functioning for the last five years. And if you were to take only a five-year period, then the number of small cases that we have to analyze, the list has also become really narrow. So three years has been a good in-between where we have several number of small cases to analyze. Plus, uh, the ranges somewhat start to stabilize for three-year periods as well. So having listed down the strategies, uh, all of the strategy-based small cases based on factors and minimum time period of three years, the next thing that we have done as part of our methodology is to see which uh, small cases were not even able to meet Nifty 50 index. So Nifty 50 is our first benchmark, which we have taken and try to understand what are the three year, uh, what is the three year CAGR for Nifty 50 as a benchmark. Now, if any of these small case strategies were not able to beat at least the Nifty 50, which is the first benchmarks, then we have eliminated those small case strategies irrespective of the factor. After li listing out the small cases which have beaten the Nifty 50 index as the primary benchmark, what we have done is we have selected a factor-based index for each of the factors. That is, we have chosen one index for each of the respective factors and calculated a three-year simple CAGR for those, ben uh, those in indices and considered those as the benchmarks. Let me show you with the example of how we have done it, which will make it easier for us to understand. So here we have all of the small cases listed for alpha factor all of the small cases which are running at least for uh, three years and above, we have selected Nifty 200 Alpha 30 as the benchmark and we have calculated a simple three-year CAGR, which is 23.38. Now, what we have done is we have eliminated all of those small case strategies, alpha strategies, which have not been able to beat this 23.38. So any strategy that, uh, that had a three-year CAGR of 23.38 and above have been retained in the list. Post that, we have calculated three-year CAGR net of expenses for 10 lakh rupees for each of these remaining small cases. So what we have done essentially is we have chosen a particular small case. We have gone to the cost adjusted return column section. We have selected three years and I have added 10 lakh rupees as the investment amount and arrived at this particular number. So for all of the small cases which were able to beat the Nifty 50 benchmark, the three-year CAGR net of expenses for 10 lakhs was calculated. This is a master document where all the factors are listed and all the small cases are listed. So post calculating the three-year CAGR net of expenses, what we have done is we have compared again the three-year CAGR net of expenses to that particular index's benchmark. We selected those small cases whose three-year net of expenses CAGR was able to beat the respective benchmark's CAGR. So all the uh, small cases which have been marked in grey, their three-year CAGR net of expenses was not able to beat the particular benchmark's three-year CAGR. Now, all these remaining small cases have been listed together at one place and I have simply added a sort filter option over here. Now, to understand what are the top five uh, factor-based small cases for this month, let us simply carry out two uh, filtrations. The first one, I am doing it from three-year CAGR net of expenses for 10 lakhs from highest to lowest. Now, when we did that, surprisingly, what we have found is all of the top five uh, small cases belong to one factor, which is the value factor. And let us see what happens when we do that by sharp ratios. Even when we do it by sharp ratios, we have four or five small cases that are belonging to the value factor. And one which is holding rank three is by quality factor. However, I have gone one step ahead to uh, probe and understand what are those top performing one small case for each of the factor, both for three-year net expenses CAGR and for sharp ratio. The list looks something like this. So for value factor, the top performing small case is Omni Bharat Defense by Omnisense Capital. The second, for the quality factor, the top performing small case is KDS Dividend Basket. For momentum, we have MI20 by Weekend Investing. For low volatility, we saw Gulak Gear 6 by ST and Alpha. We have Underdogs 2 Will Shine Series 1. Similarly, the top small case for each of the factors based on sharp ratios, again, are for value and quality. It is the same small case which is topping. For Alpha, 
and for low volatility also it's the same so for momentum we saw a small difference the small case called cruise and the manager flame back is performing the best according to the sharp ratios when we compare momentum based small cases so that has been today's video we try to bring to we try to bring to you an in depth understanding of all of the small cases available based on the factors and we have also tried to bring out a top 5 list based on several different parameters and with a very robust defined methodology now uh, let me also give a disclaimer that when we try to discover these particular small cases what we have done is we have simply used the filtration that was available to us at uh, on the small case website therefore in case we have missed something and uh, there are better performing small cases and or if you have missed analyzing any small case of a particular factor which has crossed 3 years and above please mention it to us in the comments and we'll be happy to include it in our uh, list for the next video thank you once again once again for joining me and see you in the next video